the times when we used to fight The words of a vicious kind that leave us torn inside When will we come to realize our fate is one big lie The wheel is spinning and it's time to do or die Please won't you take Time. I struggle to find an in-between To try and make you happy It just ain't what it used to be Alcohol has become a medicine of mine To take away the bitter memory of your smile Please won't you take me home I'm sorry, oh so sorry You've left me all with myself Lewis Fisher and thank you all for joining me for episode 39 and what a joy it is to be back once again bringing you seven brand new artists for the week for you to indulge in and we're just gonna jump straight on into it and we've got the opening track from Emnibus and their pretty much their latest single this came out a year ago uh, but it's called Home and I'm gonna give a shout out to Paul he was the one who sent it in to me. Uh, thank you very much for introducing me to this band. Uh, it has been very, very good to uh, to just have a listen to them. It's been absolutely, you know, phenomenal. They're they're brilliant, and uh, they're they're a band from Surrey, and they're just getting kick started with their sort of alternative pop punk uh, vibe. I hope you did enjoy that, and I know that uh, I know that Paul and the band are going to be very very appreciative of that and this is why I do this so let's kick right in with the next track uh, we're gonna keep it pretty rocky uh, for this uh, introduction of this episode and we're gonna listen to a Scottish band from Dunfermline called Foreign Fox <laughs> Not gonna last 
track and a very good one at that monsoon and uh, I love the gravelly tone to the singer's voice and it uh, seems like a really tight band a great band to go see um, before we get on to the next track I've just, rem- just reminded myself to let you all know about a album that I've been listening to recently but I feel like I couldn't put it on here just because they're too well known but I give it an honourable mention anyway Jason Isbell uh, some of you may have heard of him before uh, his new album um what's it called uh, the Nashville Sound that's it um, it came out last month uh, so Jason Isbell and the 400 unit with the album the Nashville Sound very very much enjoying his songwriting capabilities and just just really good music but he's very well known and I just wanted to put it out there for you all just in case you hadn't heard of him or you wanted a new album to listen to uh, I'd, hi- I'd highly recommend Last of My Kind Cumberland Gap White Man's World If We Were Vampires Basically the whole album really, Something to Love is a lovely track, but uh, just to give you a hint of what Jason Isbell actually does with his songwriting, uh, If We Were Vampires, sort of the staple mate to the album, is pretty much the middle track, and it pretty much is about love. Now you think, right, okay, another singer talking about love, but to to the contrary of the track name uh if we were vampires basically means that uh if you were in a relationship with someone obviously you're only around for about 40 years so you know you're going to be with each other 40 50 maybe 60 years but what if you were vampires and would that love still last forever so it's quite an interesting concept and quite an interesting innovative way to start writing music like that uh so that just gives you a nice little into insight into that so do go check that out and also flight are doing a, a tour so do go check the tour out i believe they're playing uh brighton patterns on the 17th of september so i will be down there and do go uh come down and say hello so that'd be very good for you to come down but i've played a couple of uh their tracks so kathy come home and victoria falls and I, I think they're going to be an up and coming big band. I mean, I've, I've heard of them for maybe since uh, March or April. Uh, I know I'm rambling a lot, so just, just go along with it. Um, and yeah, I, I thoroughly believe that they're going to go far. The other thing I was going to mention is a band called Ten Tons, who I featured probably about February or January. It was quite a while ago now. It was definitely you know in the the first ten episodes. And I was listening in the car to Joe Wiley on Radio 2, and she goes, we're going to have this this guy in, and started playing the track. I was like, hang on, I know that voice. And Ten Tons was doing a live live um, performance on Radio 2. She goes, we well, have been following them for a couple of months now, I think, gonna do, I think he's going to do really well. I was like, man, I found him like fucking way too long ago <laughs> uh, so I feel like I'm going to beat Joe Wiley to it which is quite nice to think about it like that but it's another one of those success stories that I'm starting to see more of on this on this podcast so it's quite nice so you never know Emnibus and Foreign, Foreign Fox they might be out, out there you know going to be somewhere anyway let's get on to the next track so we're going to listen to Sam Ryder now singer songwriter do enjoy <laughs> Songbirds sing, see the sunlight touch your skin, feel the mountains closing in. Over 
the valley alone All the trees covered with snow Fly the raven who can crow And I, I won't ask much from you Just try and keep me on your mind And I won't waste time with endless dreaming I won't forget how close we are with the track Raven, Rook and Crow. Uh, this is from his latest EP, which he put out, I believe, a couple of months ago. Uh, very colourful as well, the uh, the album artwork. And definitely one to go check out, uh, especially for the future, because he's another one of singer-songwriters, which absolutely blows me away with the creativity and just, again, like the raspiness in the voice, sort of like really giving it all. I love it when an artist just gives it their all and just really goes for it. Um, so before we go into the next track, I know it's going to be another speech, but obviously I found out literally as I was going to record my podcast last week and about Chester Bennington, obviously from Lincoln Park, sadly passed away due to uh, suicide and I didn't know whether to do sort of like an honorable mention, but I only just found out. I didn't know if it was real. Um, so I feel like I had to put it in for this week. Um, I I couldn't believe it when I when I first heard about it, honestly. Um, it was one of those pieces of news that you wish was just fake. It came from TMZ as well first, and I thought, eh, this can't be right. It's just a, it's just a pokey, um, like, gossip page, and it, it, it turned out to be true, uh, which is uh, a real shame. And I remember getting into Lincoln Park for a minute to midnight, 
and I revisited that album this week and I have been and unfortunately I'm not going to play any this week but do go listen to Minutes to Midnight album and listen to Given Up it's an absolutely incredible song and uh, Chester's voice in that he, he's, he does a scream vocal part obviously some of you might know his scream vocal part for a good 30 seconds I reckon um, or it feels like it anyway and then when he's finished he goes straight back into shouting and well shouting you know screaming but like Oh, it gives me tingles every time I hear it now. Just like how powerful his voice was, that he could go for so long to project his voice like that, stop for maybe a second, and then go back into it with even more powerful vocals. It was insane. Um, you know, I remember hands held high, uh, but I think the track uh, that really got me into them was what I've done from minutes to midnight. I think that definitely was the staple mate track for me again I listened to the whole album I thought oh my god this is literally going back to 15 16 year old me right now this is ridiculous so I uh, wanted to put my own little tribute out there for Chester Bennington uh, RIP to him and it's very very sad but his uh, his music and Linkin Park's memory will live on in many uh, rock fans um, discography and also the you know the catalogue so uh, we will move on now to a I'm gonna play three songs now because I feel like I've talked a lot so we're gonna listen to three songs now in a row and then I will get back to you afterwards with the last song just a little bit more of a chat I feel like I've you know talked a lot normally I just introduce the song talk about it afterwards and just go into the next track but fancied a little bit of a chat this week so do hope you uh, don't mind so well uh, we'll get back into three songs uh, for you and then we're just going to close off one more track but we're going to um, pick this up a little bit I feel like we know you know talking about Chester I feel like I need a bit of a, a revitalize so uh, we're gonna listen to a very nice track called uh, Low Cut Connie and their track Dirty Water I will speak to you all in a bit oh!
I'm off to meet an Estonian girl by the Panama Cafe. I give up the cigarettes if she asks me. I'm obliging that way. There's a wine out barking at the pan flute player at the top of Jervis Street. Urging him to get a real job, head but I smile at the irony And the air today is moist, heavy with a rain Feels like I'm walking through a cobweb Story short, she informed me of my flaws as the Russian doll smashed against the bedroom wall. Come away from the window ledge, you catch a dead cold, and you'll be no use to anyone. Good cop, bad cop again
through who you just heard so firstly you heard low cut connie with the very fun folky song dirty water and next on at second we had david keenan with his latest single and um his album came out maybe last week week before uh this track was called cobwebs uh david keenan is k-e-e-n-a-n and then you just heard a little bit of country music uh, from John Moreland uh, with the track It Don't Suit Me in brackets like before. Close brackets. And he, that literally came out this week. So I hope you do enjoy uh, all those three songs. And uh, we're back in the UK again. Uh, no uh, no cowboy hats and uh, country music here. But uh, I hope you do. I hope you did enjoy all three of those. And your 30 minutes are up, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining me for this episode. Do go check out the website www.themusicscout.co.uk. The Facebook page is at The Music Scout and the Twitter is at The Music Scout with a little underscore. And also the email, uh, that's the one. The email is the Music Scout Podcast at gmail.com. And that is all for this week, folks. So I'm going to leave you with Nacked Shade. And uh, this is a really cool track. Uh, so how it's spelled is N A C H T S C H A D E Nacked Shade. I do believe these are these guys are from Denmark or Germany, um, and they've been creating some very cool music. Uh, this is going to be the full. I will speak to you guys next week. I hope you enjoyed. Tara. Circle